I'm just sitting in quietness because I'm deciding to fast, I guess you would call it fast, away from the TV, away from the normal routine, basically what I do through the days. But um, I'm sitting in quietness and the thoughts that's crossing my mind as I look out into the woods and everything is that while I'm sitting here watching the birds, listening to the birds, you know, just gazing out into the forest that other people are getting dressed, getting ready to go to work. Maybe about 14 years ago, I was forced to um, detach from employment from the system. Got fired for the last time. I decided this is the last time anybody going to fire me. So I started living in abandoned houses. And so what I'm realizing is that everything we go through, it could be and is preparing us for the future. The steps of my past has given me the experience of my present. At the time, we don't know if that's what's going on. But to detach from employment, it's not easy because we've had this type of stuff for ages, for years, and we're dependent upon it. And to cut away from its provision is a scary move, but I know it can be done. Um, that's why it's important to basically have on your spare time or on your off time, work on some type of cash flow that doesn't depend on uh, somebody's paying you a paycheck. Because right now I'm sitting, I don't live by the clock, but I do have a cash flow that was set up. And the house that I'm presently in now, this fixer upper home that I'm presently in now, I'm preparing it really to be the second house that gives cash flow. I don't plan on being here unless God says otherwise, but in my spirit, this is really a setup for my second cash flow. And, um, but as I'm sitting here watching the trees and, you know, deciding to catch my water in these containers because I, I have to get a big barrel you know, that's more sufficient. But in the meantime and in between time, I'm using these vases. The one outside is heavy. So I can imagine what it's going to be like to bring it inside. But this one here is more of a lightweight. But um, as I'm sitting here, just watching the trees and stuff, my, uh, my daughter say, regarding me catching rainwater, um, she mentioned the smog and everything. I was like, you know, as far as don't catch the first drops of the rain and stuff. So I had, I let her know that for one, I'm not in the city like that. So I don't really have the concerns of the pollutants in the air as if I was still in the city. 
and the interstate that's at a distance behind the trees the smog that comes by the cars as they pass by the trees I'm realizing the trees is catching that is blocking the smog from where I am right now the trees is um, cleansing the air and this interstate that's at a distance from me it's not like the interstates in the city where it's heavy traffic no you get cars passing by sparingly on this interstate so the cleansing of the air is basically being done by all of the forest that's surrounding me so I'm not really concerned about catching my rain water whether it's the beginning of the rainwater or not, because I'm not really uh, affected by smog pollutants that a city, you know, have in the air. But, um, yeah, to be able to sit here in quietness and not be under any type of pressure regarding I'm late for work. I have to go to work. And I'm on somebody else's agenda for their sake. We have to use that opportunity that we do if we're employed use that opportunity to enhance our own life. Don't let that be the only source that we're depending on. Let us learn how to produce our own funds. You know, become a producer and not just the consumer. Um, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And as I sit in this fixer upper home, I'm preparing. I could picture it maybe like two years from now that of me growing my own food, learning how to grow my own food, of me setting up this house to become a cash flow. Um, when I move to the next journey, as far as my own personal home, I don't know if God will have me to stay here or not, but from where I'm sitting right now in my mind, I don't consider this my permanent home or my homestead because I really don't want to plant the plant uh, the fruit trees that I have pear tree avocado mango um, uh, apple trees I don't want to plant my fruit trees here on this land because I would because by two years they should be bearing fruit I don't know oh that was so beautiful a whole group of yellow birds I've never seen that I have my binoculars right here too I was um you know looking at the birds with my binoculars as well but again I and at this present time, I don't see me making this my permanent home, even though it's beautiful, you know, to to uh, uh, make this home as it is right now a project. I can see me branching out into the forest, planting my fruit trees, planting because that's one of my desires of my life is to have a food forest. So but. 
I don't want to do that here at this location because right now in my spirit, it's not my homestead. So I do plan to be here for, I, I see about two years of getting the foundation here to be ready to go to the next transition of my personal, God willing, personal homestead. That way I can plant my fruit trees. I've practiced and learned how to grow my own food. Um, I know how to uh, get live from my solar energy and you know I'm doing my practice while I'm here but yeah this this is the a blessing to be able to sit and know that I'm working on the plan that I have for myself and not feeling like I'm forced to go to work to build somebody else's plan for themselves. So I really would advise us to use our off time to build your own stability for your own life, just in case the rug gets pulled out from under us. <laughs>